Hey guys, uh, thanks for stopping by and just checking out what I got in this month. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, showing you these guys these movies now since I've got the majority of them in. Um, I'm still waiting on a few, so when those when those come in, if they come in, they should come in this month. I know i got one coming in like Thursday night because it just is late or it got lost. Um, but first I'm going to show you guys another cool little collectible that I scored. Finally, finally glad to get this guy off my wish list. Or this collectible. Uh, it's just one of those really cool leather face collectibles that I've had on my wish list for a long time. And um, I'm not too familiar with the company. I just know that they mostly deal in like Marvel and just comic book superhero stuff. But they did do like a horror line back in 07, which is like a decade ago. And ever since then, that I found out about uh, this one in particular. Um, I have been wanting this so bad. It's uh, I might show this off in another video because it's not that not that you can guys can probably see it this well. I mean, yeah, you're not going to be able to. The auto focus sucks on my camera, but I'll show this in, off in another video. But it's it's from Eagle Moss. Those of you who are familiar with Eagle Moss, they do amazing detail on these figures, and um, I want to say it's some sort of metal. It's not risen. It's not plastic. It's like heavy duty. It, to me, it personally feels like like cast iron. But it's just a really awesome leather face collectible. I got it for the movie shelf, and uh, I'm just glad to finally get it off the wish list. I've been wanting this guy for a while. This particular one. I love the pose. Uh, the scene at the end of the movie. It's just a classic. That's a classic look that I love, and. Um, so there's that. Uh, I got a few collectibles coming in. Uh, one that I don't know when is going to hit. It'll probably be. Hopefully, I can get it in before this month. If I do, I'll I'll show that to you guys as quick as possible because I'm excited to to show it. Uh, but that's that. Here's a box that it comes in. Really cool. Uh, pretty simplistic box. Um, turn around you can you have a, you have the option to display it and you know keep it displayed inside this or take it out um, so I decided since it's metal it's not I mean it's heavy duty I decided to take it out of the packaging but I'm gonna keep the box just for you know collectors purposes and so that's really cool I'll show this off in another video so you guys can get a better look um, but um so that's Leatherface Good old classic 70s version there. And then I got a few cool uh, horror t-shirts because I really don't have that many horror t-shirts. So I was, I was like craving some, some really cool horror movie themed t-shirts. And uh, t surprisingly, they're black t-shirts. I really don't wear that many black shirts. Um, but these are black, but they're really cool. So I think most horror shirts anyway come in black, so... If I can find a cool design on a white t-shirt or a yellow t-shirt, I'll usually go for like different colors, but I don't necessarily wear too much black. Um, yeah, I'm a fan of The Walking Dead, and I like the whole Negan character, and I thought this was pretty funny. So, that's awesome. I like that. And then this other one, these are all eBay. I got a lot of base. I can never have enough baseball tees. Baseball tees, um, but I got this one. I've already worn them. And they've already been washed, so they're probably not as bright and vivid as when they first came in. But Silence of the Lambs, Buffalo Bill, pretty cool. Baseball tee. And then the last shirt, but not least. There's some good old creature from the Black Lagoon. It's a pretty simple design. I don't know if you guys can see that, but so it's horror movie related, so I forgot to show some shirts on here. So that's that. Now onto the movies. Onto what this videos are mainly about, really. Um, Arbor Demon, I just got this in not too long ago. I'm going to be watching this tonight. So, uh, it looks pretty cool. I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, not a lot of good reviews out there, but... Mm, <laughs> I have a lot of fun with the lower grade stuff, so... 
Um, The Beast is a new one on me. It's just one of those movies I've always known about, but um, I don't know. I've just never been interested in checking it out until now. So The Beast, uh, Beyond the Door, a uh, really cool movie. I haven't watched this in a long time, so looking forward to giving this new edition a spin, seeing how it compares to the older Code Red DVD edition, which I still keep because I. I, I keep it because it's got a really cool um, cover sleeve or O card or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I finally got... I knew I would because even I know that it's an important chapter in horror movie history. And I'm not... But even though I'm not really uh, the biggest fan at all for this movie, the ending is... I still don't like the ending. But uh, anyway, The Blair Witch Project, um, the first one. I just got this for like a couple bucks used DVD, so I finally have the Blair Witch Project in my horror movie collection. Um, what got me to this point of finally getting this movie added to my collection, I've had three people, uh, well, friends, not people, three friends come over recently, and they're looking through my movies, and they would mention this movie, and I'd be like, no, I don't have that in my collection. Out of all the movies you talk, you mentioned, you mentioned this one, that's not the one in my collection. So that ate me up, so I, I found a used copy quick and added it in the collection. So now I have the Blair Witch Project in my collection. Um, the Brother, oh yeah, triple feature. Uh, one movie I just... I'm finally glad to get added into my horror collection. That's Torture Garden. That's one from Amicus I just never got around to getting on DVD. But a really cool triple feature. I love the reverse cover art. Uh, Bro uh, the Brotherhood of Satan, which is a cool one. Um, Torture Garden, which I have yet to see. I've never seen it before. And The Creeping Flesh is awesome. That's my favorite one out of the three. So The Creeping Flesh is a must-have. So um, Good deal. Uh, I, <laughs> I like this movie, um, I like it, The Bye Bye Man, um, just stupid, as I always say, popcorn fun, uh, there's, there's some scenes I wish that were a bit different, that could have been even more awesome, had I been behind the director's chair, or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I don't know, I'm being, I'm tired, it's been a long day, but, um, I liked it, for the most part. Um, not a lot of you guys are gonna dig this movie, I'm pretty sure of it. Um, I haven't gotten around to re re reading very many reviews, but I'm pretty sure this got canned, big time. Um, but I, I, I knew what I was getting myself into with that one. Um, Kaltiki, I'm glad to replace... Oh, a bootleg. I had a bootleg of this movie. Um, so, it's a really nice addition from Arrow. So, Kaltiki, the immortal monster. Uh, one of those lost, sort of, Mario Bava. And what's the other director? Ricardo Freda, which I have a couple of his movies. I've only watched two of them. Um, the Vampires, and um, I watched The Horrible Dr. Hitchcock for the first time, so... I'm still really new to that director, but that's but pretty cool. Um, awesome movie. I've seen a crappy bootleg quality, so I can't wait to... It'll be like watching this for the first time for me, so... I imagine for many of you. Um, so that's awesome. Really nice addition. Uh, reversible cover art. But I'm not really too crazy about the reversible cover art, so I'm just going to keep it... I'm going to stick to this new one. That's pretty cool. I like it. Um, how am I doing on time? I, I felt like I've been blabbing forever. Oh, wow, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> um, awesome. Um, that this guy, this finally has a really nice addition. Uh, Kathy's Curse. So, um, this replaces a lot of my public domain, uh, gray market, gray market slash bootleg. DVDs of, for this movie. Um, I got one I'm going to keep just because it's doubled with a movie that has have yet to find a you know a decent DVD edition of, or it doesn't you know it doesn't have a Blu-ray 
yet, so, but I believe that's like Curse of Bigfoot or something like that. That's doubled with. But Kathy's Curse is pretty cool. Um, that's slow and weird, but I like the weirdness of it. Um, I've only watched it once. I need to revisit that one. And this one, finally adding Coma to my collection. I've never seen it before, but I've, this one, another one of his uh, 70s thrillers I've been wanting to check out. Sci-fi type uh, thriller movies. So, hospital horror, I guess you can put it in that category as well. So, Coma. I've never seen it, at least not yet, so I can't wait to check that out. Uh, double feature with some, uh, I think one of them's a yeah, I've been public domain for the longest. Maybe both of these, I don't remember. But The Corpse Vanishes, some more Bella Lugosi. Uh, the Corpse Vanishes and Bowery at Midnight, which I've never seen before. But I, I've i had that movie in my collection, I just hadn't gotten around to watching it. So, The Corpse Vanishes is awesome. Um, awesome. I never knew this movie to, to have another title. I, I never knew it was called Contamination 7. What? That's my mother-in-law. Okay, I, 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 sorry, I thought my wife was calling my name. Uh, the Crawlers, uh, awesome, very nostalgic for me. Uh, just one of those movies you'd always see at the video store. And this cover art is extremely nostalgic, uh, very memorable kind of cover art. Especially for a young, <laughs> a young boy, so for sure. Um, I love this movie. This movie's uh, there's not too many like killer plant movies in horror and sci-fi movie history. So um, I remember being excited when uh, a movie like The Ruins came out. I was like, sweet killer, you know, killer dangerous plants. It seemed refreshing because. Uh, but anyway, this is just a. Turn off your brain and just relax and enjoy this cheesy, awesome, schlocky, campy, um, 90s? Yeah, 93, yeah. So, 90s did put out a few weird, stupid little gems that I love, and this is one of them. So, I definitely had to reverse the cover art, reverse the sleeve, and have it as the crawlers. That's awesome. So, pretty cool. And then another one that's a bit slow here and there, but it's got some cool creature effects. Uh, Creepazoids, love this movie. Uh, one that I've never had in my collection. Uh, I came close to grabbing the DVD a couple times, but just kept putting it on the back burner. And, uh, God, they're so loud. Jenny! Jenny! Hold on. Sorry. Jen! Jenny! Jen! Can you guys go outside or go in the... Go in your bedroom. Go in your bedroom. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry. She's... She's got her parents on speakerphone, and I can't... I don't want to start all over, but she's got her parents on speakerphone, and it's like extremely loud. I don't know how loud it is with you guys watching this video, but it's loud. Uh, with this basement, there's no door, so it's just, it's all open. So there's no way I can shut I can shut a door and sort of you know. But anyway, the Crucible. I've never had this, and I don't edit my videos. My videos are crap. You guys know that. There's no cool intro or outro or. It's all raw, and if I say something stupid, you're gonna hear it, and you're gonna, you know, it's um, it's all out there. But anyway, I apologize for that. No, I don't. No, I don't care. I don't. Who cares? Just fast forward. Uh, the Crucible. Uh, yeah, I never had this on DVD. I came close to a few times of getting it. I hear it's more of a a dark sort of drama, but it, you know, it's about witches and the Salem witch trials and stuff like that. And I've always um, when I was younger, I, Winona Ryder was one of those I sort of had a crush with, so that's a bit of a bonus. I, I've always liked Winona Ryder. So, anyway, The Crucible. Um, finally! Uh, I was so late on getting the DVD of this, and it had been long, long, long out of print. So I'm finally glad to add Dark Waters 
to my horror collection. It's just, it feels so great to start filling in the gaps in your library. You know how that is. So, finally, Dark Waters. This is released by Severin. Pretty cool. Way to go, Thomas. <laughs> Alright, so that's that. How am I doing on time? Oh, well, I'm good. Got a couple minutes, I'll show a few more, and then um, I'll make another video when the other movies arrive. Uh, Deadly Dreams, another one of those obscure 80s slashers. Um, pretty sure it's a slasher. It looks like it. Yeah, it's a slasher. I don't know, he's got a gun. I've had this, I've had a bootleg of this movie in my collection forever, and I have just have yet to get around to watching it. Um, but, pretty cool. Uh, finally, a, le a legit release besides, you know, a, a VHS tape, so, uh, another one to mark off the obscure titles wish list. So, Deadly Dreams, awesome, thank you, Code Red. Um... Delirium, another cool movie. I think this is Photos of Gloria. I haven't seen this in forever. Or is that the other? Is that another movie? I don't remember. I think so. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. I'm just saying it wrong. Photo of... I haven't watched this in forever. I need to. Upgrade. I've only watched it once. It's just been a while. Um, I like to actually like this cover art. Right? It's just kind of in your face, sort of. I, this one right here, I don't know. It's cool. Uh, this new cover art for the movie is cool, but it sort of has a comic book. I don't know. I just I think the the actual photograph of this image sort of makes the movie a bit creepier and it represents the movie a little bit better. This one just sort of looks like a a comic book adaptation. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really into that. But, uh, that's just, I don't know, that's my opinion. Pretty cool that you get the option, you know. We're getting, we're, we're getting spoiled as collectors nowadays. Um, Demented? Awesome. So, I never had this movie before, and I think this is the first time this has actually ever hit disc. I could be wrong, I don't know how you guys are on the other side of the pond, if you've ever had a legit, you know, if this ever hit DVD, but I think here in the States, this is another, um, obscure, uh, horror flick that's just finally making its way onto DVD and Blu-ray, or is it just Blu-ray only? I don't remember. But, yeah, Demented. Awesome. I've never seen it before. Looking forward to checking it out for the first time. And I'm going to stop it right there. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm running out of time this time. Guys, thanks for stopping by and just checking out what I've been up to with the collecting. Uh, later.